on the terrace empty. And um, I, I guess this, this is one that I always, I, I you know, th that, Wim, you know, my women friends like. For some, and then um, this is the one that also is anthologized a lot. It's called the Floral Apron. And um, and it's, it's a simple poem, but it has this, you know, all the, the goodies, the, the the ethnic food trope, the whole whole thing about mother's kitchen. So I think it'd be nice to warm warm the um, you know to finish with with, with a warm feeling. The woman wore a woman. Excuse me. The woman wore a floral apron around her neck. That woman from my mother's village with a sharp cleaver in her hand. She said, "What shall we cook tonight? Perhaps these six tiny squid lined up so." perfectly on the block. She wiped her hand on the apron, pierced the blade into the first. There was no resistance, no blood, only cartilage, soft as a child's nose. Alas, iota of ink made us wince. Suddenly, the aroma of ginger and scallion fogged our senses, and we absolved her for that moment's barbarism, that she, an elder of the tribe, without formal headdress, without elegance, Dame to teach the younger about the ancient plight. And although we have traveled far, we must never forget that primal lesson on patience, courage, forbearance, on how to love squid despite squid. <laughs> how to honor the village, the tribe, that floral apron. Why don't we open it up?